Hi, my name is Wick. I'm the product manager for Media 100 Edit Systems at Boris FX. In this video, I want to show you a new feature we've introduced with version 12.7 called Deferred HDV Acquire. Now, this feature came about because some of the older or slower systems like G5 Towers or MacBook Pro laptops are just not up to the challenge of capturing and transcoding the HDV stream simultaneously. So what we do with this feature is we capture first and transcode later. You can do one clip at a time, a handful of clips at a time manually in the edit suite, or you could batch a whole bunch up in a bin and batch acquire to deferred HDV. So let me show you right now how easy it is and what it really means. From the Media 100 menu, go to Preferences, Video Input, and you'll see I'm already set up for HDV in and this part's new. It says HTV transcode real time. That's the default. But we want to talk about deferred. So here's where we make the choice to do deferred. Close our preferences. Go to this nice empty bin I have ready to go. And into the acquire tool. I get my tape rolling. And hit the start button. and stop. So what has happened here is this little window went from zero clips to one clip. Deferred transcode Q. Now if I caption another clip, I'll do another one very quickly. A very short clip. And stop. Okay, that's plenty. You see now it says two clips. So I could do one at a time, I could do a whole bunch at a time right here. Uh, nothing's shown up in the bin yet though. That's because they haven't been transcoded. So we hit the transcode button and now that process happens. So we've captured the media, we've captured the HDV stream, and now after hitting the transcode button we're transcoding it to the codec of our choice. In this case I'm coming in to the Apple ProRes 422 codec. And there are the clips in the bin and they're done. And we play them and you see they work just like any other clip. It, no matter how you acquire it, they all work the same once they're in there and they all cut together and they edit together in the same timelines. No matter how they came in or what codec they were saved to. Now I also want to show you, just do a save all, I want to show you a batch. Here's a bin I already have with a bunch of unacquired clips. I'll select them all, go to the media menu, batch reacquire selected. And here it's the same batch window it's always been, except for a little bit of extra information in the bottom right hand corner here. Deferred transcode queue, zero clips. So we'll hit acquire and ready. Now as this queues up and goes through the batch, I'm not going to make you watch this along with me. It's a little bit more exciting than paint drawing. But I will catch you at the end of the batch. And here we come with the last clip coming in. It's done and the transcode begins immediately. And you'll watch in the bottom right hand corner of the batch window, you'll see the queue count down as each clip is transcoded. and we're done. We click done in the batch window, it goes away, the clips draw in the bin, and there they are. So that is the deferred HDV acquire feature in Media 100 version 12.7. It's available in both the software only version, Media 100 producer, and the hardware based version, Media 100 suite. You can try them both out, you can download them from our website at www.media100.com Please take a look at it, and thank you so much for watching.